Hey guys, this video is gonna be about the smooth zoom transitions and how to make them in iMovie. So I chose these two clips where we're zooming basically from uh, from this map to the place on the map. <laughs> so first of all, we want to crop the first video. We're going to take 0 0.1 second um, and use the Ken Burns cropping tool to zoom in the map as close as possible and I'm gonna place it over the arrow on the map <laughs> all right now this will make this zoom in effect but it's still not as smooth as we would want it so we need to also um, edit the second video now we want to zoom in the second video but we don't we don't have the bigger picture from which we could zoom into this current one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mirror the edges. So we're gonna open the video in a, in a QuickTime player and just copy the first frame, so Command C. Now we'll open Keynote and New Document where we wanna select the white picture and right so I'm just going to delete this and paste the picture here now I'm gonna zoom it out a little bit and usually I put it on around 700 pt height and I'll just place it in the middle you have this yellow lines there which can help you now we're gonna copy and paste this picture and just mirror it, mirror basically the edges all around. So copy paste and we use the arrange tool and here we can flip the picture so it would look like it's mirroring it. Now we do this all around. So now you can see it kind of seems like one picture, even though we just mirror the edge. And in this point one second, you won't really recognize that it's uh, that the edges are mirrored. So now we're gonna um, save this, export it as as an image, uh, make sure it's high quality, and just let's save it as a C mirror. To the desktop. All right, so now we're gonna insert this picture in iMovie, and again, we want to take just 0 0.1 second. So I just use my right arrow, this is to. So I use just my right arrow, yeah, that's 0 0.1, we can delete the rest. And we're gonna use the Kenburn tool again. And now we set the end of it uh, on, on the edges of the actual picture. So it might not be perfect, but just try to find the edges. So should be around somewhere around here that, that looks fine yeah that should be right and basically now you have zooming in the the map and then zooming in this picture 
So it kind of makes this seamless smooth zooming movement while your eye won't really notice that this is just mirrored image and that's why it makes this seamless um, smooth zoom in. The same thing you can do for um, for zoom out, you just kind of reverse the steps that we just did. If you want you can also insert some swoosh sound effect to make it even um, more kind of seamless and believable. But yeah, that's how you make the smooth zooming transitions in iMovie. Thanks for watching guys, hope it helped.